Have you ever watched snow melting or snails racing or grass growing? Well, most modern cameras have a time-lapse function. That way you can film things that last for hours and condense it in just a few seconds. But how do you get a smooth camera movement with that? Well, with a motorized camera dolly. But where do you get that? Well, make it yourself, of course. That's pretty easy, fast and ridiculously cheap. I will show you how I did it. First we need some kind of a base plate. I still have this sawn off end of a shelf lying around. I ordered most of the other components directly from AliExpress in China. It takes forever for the parts to arrive, but everything is incredibly cheap. We need a motor controller, a very slow running motor and three furniture casters. I bought them locally and together they were the most expensive part in this project. Also a battery holder for 8 AA batteries, 12 volts. In the description I will give you links to the parts. The axle of one of the three furniture casters is drilled out. I put the wheel on the motor for a trial. The motor gets connected to the controller. I first had to figure out what goes where because everything is labeled in Chinese. In this case the motor connectors are left and the input voltage right. Ok, it's running. It's pretty fast though. In the middle of the narrow side I screw a perforated plate to the underside of the base plate. With only one screw so it can be rotated. Now I glue the motor to the perforated plate with plenty of hot glue. On the other side the other wheels are mounted so that we get a tricycle. The vehicle can be steered by turning the plate with the motor. Now I attach all the other parts to the base plate. Because the dolly ran too fast for me, I replaced the motor with a slower one. Now I have fished two switches out of the grab box. One is to change direction. That must be a double two-way switch. The cables from the battery are soldered like an axe. For this purpose I not only strip the insulation at the end, but also 2 cm before the end, so I don't have to extend the cables. This is what it should look like in the end. A second switch is for turning on and off. This is the setup I used to film my intro. I put foam under the tripod to dampen vibrations. Surely it would have made sense to place the dolly on a very smooth surface, a glass plate for example. Now for really long time lapses this is still way too fast. The dolly would only have to move a few millimeters every minute. <laughs> but we can do that. This is where the Arduino comes in. This is an easy to use controller module. We also need a relay module. This one has 8 relays. That is way too much of course, but I still have this one lying around. These things are also incredibly cheap in China. See the description. I simply connect pins 6 and 7 of the Arduino to the inputs 1 and 2 of the relay module. Ground to ground and the 5 volts output of the Arduino goes to the VCC on the relay board. I connect the first relay of the relay board between the on off switch and the power input of the motor controller. This is also where I get the supply voltage for the Arduino. Since I don't have the appropriate jack I just solder it on. Only a few lines of code are needed to get this to work. They are simply uploaded to the Arduino via USB. 
I set the times directly in the code. But you will need to experiment a little, because the Arduino is not so precise in timing. You can download the code from fluxing.de. I also wanted to trigger the shutter of the camera with the Arduino, but unfortunately I was too stupid to unscrew this little jack. So uh, it will have to do without. It is winter and I couldn't think of anything more exciting than a flower pot full of snow that I put in my kitchen to melt. The camera gets mounted on a bendy tripod and it takes a picture every minute. The dolly rolls a bit between the shots. The photos are then assembled into a movie at 30 frames per second. So for every half hour we get a second of video. I observed the flower pot for 7 hours. As a precaution I have connected both the camera and the dolly to power supplies. And this is what the finished video looked like. If you're willing to wait a couple of weeks for the delivery, you can order everything you need for this project for about 15 euros in China. And that's already including shipping. So, if you have any ideas or questions, please leave them down below. And I'd be very happy if you leave me a like or a subscribe. And see you next week. Bye!